But let's see where this is all going to take us and our health care in this country. Here now with a fair and balanced debate on where it all stands, Democratic Congressman Elliot Engel of New York and Republican Congressman John Chadig of Arizona. Uh, both are members of the Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Health. Gentlemen, welcome. It's good to have both of you here. Representative Engel, if I, if I may you. start with you, uh, is your heart still in passing health care reform? Uh, and, and in what time frame? Oh, very definitely. I mean, I'm for health care reform because I believe that we, we need to have health care reform. The current system uh, is not sustainable financially. People have seen their premiums double and triple, and that will continue. All right, but, you know, we've seen the, the public response to this bill, and the public doesn't like this bill. So what are you going to offer them that they might like? Well, I think there are certain things that everybody likes. I think that if people lose their jobs or change their jobs, they should be able to keep their insurance. I mm -hmm. think that people don't want to be denied coverage for a so-called pre-existing condition. People don't want annual caps or lifetime caps where the insurance companies say, sorry, we've paid you all, right. we're going to pay you. Uh, there's no reason why there should be a, uh, these, these insurance companies should be exempt from antitrust laws. So I think there are certain things yeah. that we can pick out of the bill. Maybe a 2,000 page bill was too much for people to digest yeah, in maybe it one was. fell swoop. So I think there are things we can do. I hope we can do them in a bipartisan fashion because I think America needs health care reform. All right. Well, you're talking about uh, people being exempt from things. And Congressman Shaddock, one thing that people were not happy about at all, uh, a lot of people in this country, and we we saw it in all the polls. They weren't happy about the deals, uh, the sweetheart deals that a couple of states got, Nebraska, Louisiana, for instance. They also weren't happy that uh, union heads uh, were able to walk into the White House and get a pretty good deal for themselves, too, that made them exempt uh, from the caddy tax for quite some time. Are we going to see these kinds of deals disappear if we get any kind of compromise on health care? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, you're absolutely right. The American people do not want this bill. They've seen the uh, sweetheart deals that were cut for uh, Nebraska or Louisiana or for that matter the Northeast and they oppose that kind of insider uh, self-dealing by members of Congress, powerful members of Congress um, and now uh, toward the end there was a discussion of giving the unions a kind of a union carve out where they taxed all of the high dollar plans or uh, gold plated plans for everybody in America except the gold plated plans for union members. The American people are sick of that kind of smoke room dealing and they oppose it. I do agree with Elliot that we can take this bill apart and do small pieces of it in ways that the American people can understand. And I think we can do that yeah. in a bipartisan fashion if the Democrats will agree. Pre-existing conditions, for example, is an issue on which we can come to an agreement. Uh, but not if, as they are currently threatening, they try to push it through through reconciliation. You know, but uh, Representative Engel, is there anybody who's saying, you know what, let's just throw this entire bill out. Let's start from scratch, because I, I think there is some, you know, I, some momentum behind that idea. Because when you, if you really throw it out and start from scratch, maybe you could talk about things like individuals having their own policy, uh, and they take that policy from one place to another. Or you could talk about real, true cross-border uh, purchasing uh, of, of health care. You could talk about tort reform. I mean, is, is that a better way to go, to say, start from square one, the president says we've got plenty of time. Well, unfortunately, as John knows, things take a long, long time in Washington and to get done, unfortunately. And uh, I don't think we have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I think there are things in this bill that are good. Yeah, but there's I also think... so much stuff in that bill well, that is really annoying people. So, I mean, don't you think it might be a good, strong thing to say to stand up as a congressman and say, out with this bill, let's start over? I think that we know uh, what needs to be reformed. And I think that, uh, you know, and it doesn't mean we only do health care. I mean, we need to tackle the economy. We need to do jobs, unemployment, their education. There That's are for sure. lots of other things we need to do. I think the problem was that Congress seemed like it was so fixated on health care that we didn't uh, seem as if we, we were doing anything else. That was a mistake. And I think uh, we learned from the mistake. And again, I hope that in a bipartisan fashion we can reach out and, and we can get this done. You know, the Republicans have been saying no to everything and that's got to change. So maybe <laughs> if we meet in the middle, we can both say yes. Is that true, John Chaddock? If you guys, you know, you not really reached out or have you not been responding well, to we, uh, we No one reached out to us. There's no doubt about it. There was no attempt <laughs> to make this a bipartisan bill. The president talked about reaching out, but he le lent the job of writing the bill to the congressional Democrats and they never let any Republican in the room. I think well. we can fix the problems in health care. We can take them apart and do them one at a time. Yeah. And we can start paying attention, and I'm glad Elliot acknowledged this, the issues that are more important to the American people. The economy has to be number one. Jobs have to be number one. And there was, in fact, a complete consumption of the entire energy of the Congress just on health care and right. just on a very 
ideological bill that I don't think solved right. individual problems in the healthcare arena. Maybe, I hope we can do Congress that. Maybe we should take the weekend and think about the deficit uh, and the numbers that, w that we had just come out and wonder whether or not we have any money to pay for any of this, uh, uh, this well, stuff. And maybe we need to start with the cost that'd of the That would be a good idea. The, the deficit started under we Bush. Let's remember when Clinton left office, we had the largest surpluses in American history. Uh, so right. I, well, that's I all think past that's history. We've got to start fixing but, but, what we've got to fix but today. We're just looking we backward, Elliot. We learned to, for the future by, by not doing the mistakes Excuses of the past. Excuses won't get you reelected, Elliot. You've got to do the job you're elected to do. Thank you very I much, I do, gentlemen. John. Believe me. Representative Angle and Representative Shaddock, good to have both of you here. Have a great weekend, folks.